Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my beloved supervisor and also my panels. And today I would like to present about my FIP topic which is Economic Dispatch in Generation System Using Particle Swap Optimizations. So here, the simulations of my project. Alright, so first of all, the objective for this project is to minimize the total cost generations of our system as to meet the power demand, 24 hours load demand. And there are two main constraints considered in this project which is RAM rate limit and also prohibited operating zone. Alright, so here is how I handle this project which is I divide into two cases which is the first case is simulations by not considering prohibited operating zones and the other cases is by considering prohibited operating zone. In each cases, the simulation is running two times which is the first time is for uh, running hour by hour to meet 24 hours load demand and also the second one is running simultaneously for 24 hours load demand. So I decided to choose only four cases for example that will be showing in this video. So let's start. But before we jump to simulations, we will overview my coding. Alright, so first of all, we will clear all the workspace and also all unwanted windows that have we have been created before in the MATLAB and then we create a file that called create model. So what uh, inside in create model is uh, this this file contain all the generator parameter such as power demand, pin maximum, pin minimum and also ramping up, ramping down and also prohibited operating zone data inside here. And then we move to the second file which is called my cost. What inside my cost is so my cost we will define another two sub file which is part solution and model calculations. Part solution will be uh, do coding for prohibited operating zone that will be explained later in seminar and then model calculations will contain the formula for uh, calculation cost and also calculations for power next we will be define the size of solutions that is that mean is this contain one row and the column is depends on n bar and then we define our iterations, maximum iterations, the population size of our particles. Here is initial coefficient, usually we just using standardized value which is 1, but based on research, when using initial coefficient between 0.4 and 0.9, we will be produce a better solutions. Here is learning coefficients, when C2 is greater than C1, the output will be converged to global optimum. Here, where we store all the information of the particles in the area of structure, this is just a template. Here, where we duplicate the template to fulfill our population size. Here's the main part of PSO, where we iterate two times, which is first one is for particle and the other, for, the other time is for iterations. So here is the formula for the velocity and also a formula for the positions for the PSO. And next evaluation will be performed. So here, where evaluations for the positions and also for the cost. So if the positions for the current one and cost for the current one is lower than the previous ones, then we updating uh, to the global best. And last one, we'll be plotting a graph that is iterations against best cost so here is the simulations so next we continue with the example there there will be four example that will be performed so this is the first example which is run hour by hour for six uh, unit generating by not considering prohibited operating zone so the constant considered in this is only generating limit and also rate limit so here the power demand is 971 megawatt and the generator parameter is taken from privacy paper and here you show that uh, there are no prohibited uh, considered and we run the simulations so we want to take a look at the output we select the best solutions and then we show the output of this project of the simulations uh, show that the, the the p total is 975 megawatt and here is and the cost is 1152.8 ringgit per megawatt so we want to check the power demands 971 megawatt and here the simulation meet the power demand all right so we move to the next example which is run hour by hour but but this one is considering prohibited operating zone all right the coding is uh, totally the same but the difference is at the prohibited operating zone at down one so we use the same power demand 171 and then later we 
we see at the discording meet the power demand or not so here is parameter and then the different this one which uh, with the pre with the previous one is here at this part which is this one is considered prohibited operating zone and then we run this simulations and see the output all right so later we compare the uh, we check at the this simulations meet the load demand or not so here is the output so 971 here yeah. so they meet the load demand and this show how much each of the generator to meet the load demand 971 and then here is right, the cost so we move to the third uh, example which is run hour by hour by 15 unit generating by not considering prohibited or printing zone so basically the simulation is the same but the difference is only the previous one is using 6 uh, unit but this one is using 15 unit generator Alright, so for the load demand, we take 1365 megawatt, which is we taken from uh, one of the power demand. Alright, so here it is show that there is, no, uh, there is no prohibited operating zone considered and then we run the simulation. So we check the output, alright. So we will see either this uh, 50 unit generator meet the load demand or not. So here they show that 1365 megawatt, so meet the load demand and then this uh, showing that uh, each how much uh, each of the unit generator contribute to meet the load demand this is the last example of this uh, in this video which is uh, running six unit generator by not considering property operating zone but this one is running simultaneously the different this one and the previous previous example is that we're running these simulations hour by hour we need to run 24 hours load demand from hour 1 to hour 24 one by one and then we will sum up all the costs all the total cost and all the power considered but in this running simultaneously we don't need to run hour by hour we just running one time and then and then the output will show the uh, finalize of the cost and the total power considered for 24 hours of demand so here we go in this running simultaneously, we need to put 24 hours load demand straight in this coding and then put the power minimum, power maximum for 24 hours load demand uh, and all the parameter is uh, put in one time and then we run the simulations. So here is hour 1, hour 2 and hour 3 and then we do the same for all the parameter and this one is example for not considering prohibited operating zone as we see this uh the, the prohibited operating zone is all zero and showing that they are not considered so we run the simulation and we see uh the output of this uh simulations and then we see the output of these simulations so in in this simultaneously the output comes in uh, straight 24 hours so we need to uh, check each of the hours and the, the generator meet the load demand or not so check the first one 971 megawatt and then check uh, we check uh, at our demand load which uh, which is 971 or not so here we go where is it Okay, right. So here the power limit is 971 and then we check for the second which is 898 megawatt. So we go to the same page and then we check for the second hour which is 898 megawatt. So we check for all 24 hours of demand and then here is the summarize of my simulations. And the output of this simulation is recorded into the Excel to generate the result that will be used uh, in thesis and come up with this table summarized table all right so that's all for me thank you